Hi, good evening. Welcome back to Happy Learning. I am back with another video on Mendix. So, I am going to start a series of Mendix, Mendix interview related questions. So, today I am going to share the questions from domain model which might be asked into your Mendix interviews. This applies to Fraser's and experienced both. So, let's start with the first question. First question is what do you understand by domain model? So you should understand domain model in a very easy manner and you have to present domain model with an example so or with some analogy so that would be very impactful. Second question might be what do you understand by entity because domain model is made up of entities so what do you understand by entity. Same try to explain entity with an easy example and with an easy analogy. Another question is what how many types of entities are there in Mendix? So we understand uh, entities are of two types in Mendix, persistable, non-persistable, but there are one third type of entity as well. Try to find out what is that third type of entity in Mendix. Then another question can be from what do you mean by attributes in Mendix domain model? Because all entities are made up of attributes and then what kind of data one attribute can hold so these are the very basic questions that can be asked into Mendix domain model and uh, what do you understand by system members in domain model each domain model will have system members which is in number of four like created date change state owner and I guess changed by so you need to understand what happens when you check all those four and what happens when you don't check all those four there is one owner attribute owner system member what happens when you check owner so actually that plays a very important role so you need to understand ins and outs about that owner system member uh, then how many types of association in mendix exist so you need to understand those all types of association uh, what type of association you can implement between persistable to persistable entity and what type of association you can implement with between persistable to non persistable entity so you need to take care of this scenario also and uh, that then again the same uh, relevant question comes is what you understand by reference set and reference these are a part of actually uh, association only so try to find the difference between what do you understand by when it says it's a reference set or when it says it's a reference you will find in that association tab of domain model itself then uh, what do you mean by generalization because each domain model you will see there, there is written generalization so what do you understand by generalization in terms of domain model of mendix and the another concept is a specialization so what do you understand by a specialization try to understand both in context of mendix and try to have an easy example so if you uh, explain the same with an easy example or easy analogy that would be really helpful and uh, that may earn you brownie points because these are the questions I was asked in my interviews. Then uh, event handlers you might be asked what do you understand by e event handlers, what do you understand by validation rules. Uh, I think uh, that's where there is one calculated value so what do you mean by calculated value. What is indexing concept in domain model? When you should use indexing and when you should not use indexing? What are uh, what are the pros and cons of indexing? So you should be very much clear with it. There comes the access rules. What do you understand by access rules? How you can grant access to a particular users? What kind of uh, permission one user can have like read access, write access or both? Can user create an attribute? Can user create that particular entity or not? Uh, so create and delete access those are there in the access rules you need to understand it thoroughly. So that's where comes one scenario based question for example I am user A your user B. So I created 10 uh, records in my entity and you created 10 records when I log in I want to see only mine created attribute not yours. So how we can achieve it actually you can achieve it with the help of owner attribute that I said. Uh, which is a kind of system member and that you can define it to access rules only so when I should log in I should be able to see only my data so um, uh, that you should understand very well and uh, that owner you can define into access rule and there is the X path so yeah these are the common question generally you will be asked then comes the question of where does the data of non persistable entity gets stored like in case of persistable entity we know it gets stored into the Mendix database or any other database that you have attached with your Mendix. 
but uh, in case of non persistable entity where does it get stored so for this i have created one video uh, you can check it out i think that might be helpful for you to understand where does the data of non persistable entity gets stored uh, let me see if i missed any questions i think i have covered everything yeah there is one concept of validation rule so you can create validation rules in uh, mendix domain model also you can create validation rules in microflow also you can create a validation you can assign validation into particular widgets also let's say text box like it can't be empty so scenario is like when you assign validation rules in domain model in microflow and in text box also let's say for a particular case so which validation rule will take precedence which validation rule will get triggered first domain model one uh, that widget level one or the microflow level one so if you try to create this scenario and understand this might be helpful i always ask this question so i think this would be a uh, good share with you as well so i think yeah that's those are the questions for domain model if i missed anything just comment it down and if you have been asked any such question that i have shared please let me know in the comment section below and also let me know if you want me to continue such more videos ahead thank you very much for listening me i i know like video uh, is a bit longer but i'll try to make it shorter in next time thank you very much and uh, do like and subscribe the channel if you really enjoyed the series thanks again